awesome. Hey everybody, Noons here, and welcome back to Noons Airborne RC. And if it's your first time here, go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button right there so you can go ahead and get notified for future content. Well everybody, a little, uh, another tip, uh, more emails and stuff. Thanks a lot for the emails guys, I really do appreciate them. It lets me know that you guys are actually watching the videos or something's kind of like, well how did he do that? Um, been getting some more emails on how I'm doing CG on my larger aircraft, uh, meaning the turbines and the stuff that are just too big to balance on your fingers. So I let everybody know I use a Zykoi um, balancer and um, they are a little pricey. They're about 300 bucks, but when you're getting into your bigger aircraft, um, you're either building something out of wood to balance it uh, like your fingers uh, you're doing a pendulum style when you're hanging it from the ceiling of your garage and you know bad things can happen like it could snap out of the roof and damage your plane. Uh, it's happened. Um, it's just uncumbersome. Uh, another way to do it is to get one of these little balancers right here. This is the Zykoi balancer, CG balancer, what they call it. It's uh, by Gaspar. It's a German company. Everybody uh, in the turbine was pretty familiar with Zykoi. Uh, the case right here does not come with the kit. This is a single pistol gun case that I got off of Amazon for 20 bucks so I can protect this because this is something I take out to the field and stuff. Um, a lot of us have the same jets and you've probably seen in a few videos with the turbines, we're in the pits and we're literally redoing the CG on a plane right there. And this is what we use right here. So basically what comes in the kit guys, like I said, the case is mine. You get three of these weights right here. So you get three of these right here. They can do 20 kilograms, 45 pounds each one. Uh, they hook up with a servo, uh, standard servo lead on one side. So you do get three of these. And with the three of these right here, um, you basically put in any configuration. It does do tricycle gear and bicycle gear. So if you're doing a, say a standard jet, you would have for the mains and one for the nose. Uh, if you're doing bicycle, you would have the mains and the tail gear. Now, if you were doing the tail gear on this, you can't have the plane just sitting at an angle. You have to get it level like it's flying. So on the rear one, you might have to put some books or some shims or just something to raise it up so the plane's level so it can do the CG the correct way. Um, you also do get your three servo leads uh, with the kit and you get your, what they call a breakout box, which is basically a touch screen box right there. And as you guys, guys can see, Zykoi CG balancer and weight meter. You will do the total weights. Another thing with this is if you get the balance sensors, I'll do that in another, um, not balance sensors, sorry guys. Uh, the throw sensors, I'll do that in a separate video. They do sell these little throw sensors that you can attach to your ailerons or whatever control service. And you can actually measure the degrees and get it set up like the split. I also have used those throw meters uh, to go ahead and zero out a swash plate on a helicopter real easy. <clears throat> so this is basically the kit you get right here guys. Um, Aero Panda, they have another kit. Uh, as far as these uh, meter CG balancers, Zykoi and Aero Panda are the only two that I know of. There's probably more out there. Um, this one is a little more readily available, the reason why I got this. And this is powered by a 2S um, light bulb battery, so it's easily taken in the field. Um, you will have to set it up. You could save models in here. So I have one uh, for my buddy's Rebels Hot because we share equipment. Um, I have my Air One in here, my P47. You can save your model so that way, if you ever had to do something in the future, you have it set up. Um, so only way you guys are gonna be able to see this and how it works is we go ahead and we do a model. Um, I already did and I test flew my um, Avanti S and I'll go ahead and put in the clip right here.
and that was just a takeoff guys um didn't have uh it was just one of those days where it was very hard to see the plane so and i just wanted to go ahead and get that thing dialed in so let's go ahead and get that avanti s in here and i'll go through on how to set this thing up and we'll go through the motions let's do it all right everybody let's go ahead and get this thing uh set up and ready to receive the plane i went ahead and i tried to focus up as much over here the important stuff of what we're going to do so we're gonna go ahead and get the Avanti. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these for the mains and this for the nose. We don't need the meter right now. What we do need is we do need to connect these three leads. And if you look on the bottom, it does tell you white, red, black. So you do know the orientation for your lead. If you do get one of these and you hook it up and you're not getting any input from that scale, you got this backwards. I know that for a fact because I've done that in my little dumbfounded moments. And when I get this thing set up, y'all, I like to figure out where is it I'm going to work from. Am I going to work from here? Because the nose is going to be here, from here or from there. I'm going to go ahead and be working um, from this side right here. So I'll go ahead and get this set up. That way you're not moving everything around with the plane. And right here, let me go around so you guys can get a little close up. <coughs> White, red, and black. The first part is the battery, and then the nose wheel, and then your left and your right for the scales. nose wheel make sure you guys get the orientation correct All right this is going to be my left side and my right All right now that we got this thing right here let's go ahead and let's get the jet and bring her on in We're just gonna go ahead and place her on there. And I uh, hope you guys can see this. I'm gonna try and do it without getting there uh, in the way. You're gonna go ahead and place the front wheel. And there's no order in this, guys. I'm just doing this for the video right here. And then you put the other tire. And what you wanna do is you wanna center the tires out on the scales as best as you can. Usually when you put them on there, they are concaved they do find center. I usually just give them like a good little wiggle and we're good. <clears throat> Canopy, gear down, the way you guys are gonna fly is the way you're gonna go. <clears throat> For this test guys, I am gonna be using a Roaring Top 5070C battery and I am pushed, the back end right here is about one inch from the back bumper and that's where we're going to start off at. All right, now let's go ahead and talk about how to set this thing up with your model. Okay, everybody, three things you need to know to go ahead and set up the machine. I'm going to go ahead and describe what these three things are. So you don't get overwhelmed when you see the screen. It's very easy to get overwhelmed or turned off by new technology, but this thing is awesome, guys. So the first thing we need to go ahead and do <coughs> is it wants three measurements. Two measurements are important. Third one is objective. First measurement it is going to want to know is the center of your main wheel to the center of your front wheel. Now, that's uh, you can do it a lot of different ways. I can go ahead and explain to you all five different ways, but it's gonna be what's easiest for you. Um, what I like to go ahead and do is, 
I put a straight edge right here on the front of these two scales and I know that will be my reference. These are 64 and a half millimeters in diameter. So you're looking at 32 and a quarter. So what I do is I measure from, I put a straight edge here and I measure from the straight edge to the front scale and I get my number. Then I add the 64.5 because I'm adding half a puck here and half a puck here and that gives me my overall number. Try and be as accurate as you can guys. A few millimeters will make an overall difference. Nothing crash worthy, but if you do the measurements really good, you're gonna, CG is gonna be perfect. So the second measurement it wants to know is the diff distance between the center of the mains to where your CG point is. And I will go ahead and describe how I do that. I go ahead and I put a 90 degree square and I touch the front of this wing right here. And then I measure the distance between that square and the center of this, but I'm really measuring the distance between the square and the front of this scale. And then I'm adding 32 and a quarter to get to the center of this. Now I know the distance between here and here. Now it's just minor addition or subtraction. Um, now I know on this plane right here, uh, just off the calculations off of my head, I know this is 32 and a quarter and I know the distance between here and here is 119 millimeters. So with that 119 millimeters, what I do is I take that 119 and I add the 32 and a quarter here. And now that is the distance between here and the front edge of my wing. And I just minus this where the CG point is. On this plane, it's supposed to be 105 to 110. Um, I placed that at 107. So when you take the 119, the distance from here to the front of the puck, plus the um, radius of this puck right here, minus the 107 for the CG, you're left at 43 millimeters. It's really 45. 43 millimeters will be right at 110. So let's go ahead and fire this thing up so it'll make a little more sense to you. All right, everybody, here's the little uh, breakout box and we're gonna go ahead and supply it with the 2S power supply. I use a Pulse 2550 uh, receiver and we get the polarity right and we just basically slip her on in. She's gonna power up. And there we go, guys. So we have the breakout box right there. Let me go ahead and get my stylus out of my pen. Let me see if I can do this without it. Perfect. We have select model, weight, angle, and CG. Angle, that'll be a separate video, guys. That's if you've got the throw sensors. Uh, weight and CG and select model. Let's go to select model first. As you can see, guys, let me go ahead and zoom in on this a little bit. See if I can get that to focus a little better. So as you can see right here, we have our name, Avanti. The distance from the mains to the front gear the center of the mains to the center of the front gear is 394 millimeters on this model. The CG from the mains is 45 millimeters. Now remember how we got that guys. We went from the front ed leading edge to the uh, center wheel and then we minus the CG and that's the number we got. Now this number right here guys, this distance from mains. We're gonna talk about that after this demonstration. Don't worry about that, um, not for right now. I'll go ahead and uh, we'll do a little breakout right now. All right guys, little breakout. So we're that third one I told you not to worry about. What it wants to know is the distance from your weight. Um, we're using batteries, so in theory, <clears throat> let's say from here to where you're going to be putting weight. Let's say it's a, a gas plane and you're, you need to add weight. We're not moving batteries, right? Just, let's just say that right off the bat. So the difference from the main to where our weight is is 300. And we put 300. 
Since that's our ballast point, this thing will tell us remove, let's say it's too nose heavy. It will say remove three grams of weight. And what that means is whatever point you put that, okay, it wants you to remove three grams from that point. So if the point was here, it wants you to remove three grams from here. If you said it was here, it's three grams from there. From If it's back heavy, it will tell you. Don't worry about that. We're looking for the CG number. Now, if you're building a plane that you know that you are tail heavy for a fact, and there ain't nothing you can do to move stuff over, that's a good little tidbit. But for EDFs and stuff, you don't need to worry about that. All right, guys, we're back. So like I was saying, don't pay too much attention to this number right here. Uh, we have this set up for tricycle. So let's go ahead and hit select. Now, on board, guys, we have a Roaring Top 5000 70C battery. We have it pushed all the way to the back. And as you can see, our measured CG is 38, 39 millimeters from the center of the tires. And our objective is 45 millimeters. Now, you would move the battery, pick it up, flip it upside down, yada, yada, yada. Not me, guys. All I do is I open up the canopy and I slide the battery a little forward. And let's see how she is right there. Oh, look at that. We're almost dead nuts right there so let's go ahead and let's move her around a little bit more because we want to fly with these batteries well i did fly with this it was an eyeball and when i got home i said i'm going to go ahead and get this thing to book recommendation so let's go ahead and move her right there And let's see how she's doing for us right there, guys. All right, looks like I moved her just a little bit too much. So she is a little nose heavy right now. But to show you guys where the CG's at right now on the plane, this is where I have the battery about an inch from the back. Uh, I don't know, about two inches from the front. And that's where that C gene right there. So let's go ahead and try uh, a Spectrum 5030C, which a lot of people have. And let's see where that's gonna be C gene on this bad boy. Right. Take the RC Jetworks out and we'll put in the Spectrum battery. And this is what I do guys to get the CG. I have a whole bunch of different batteries, different sizes to get them right. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Let's see where that is CG net guys. Right on the nose. 45 millimeters, a little ass heavy. And let me show you where this one's at, guys. A little bit more forward, about an inch and a half off of the back. It's about centered. Oh, what was that, guys? Oh, you like my 3D printed tray for my receiver? Yeah, me too. Thanks, LT Dorn. <clears throat> All right, guys, so what happens if you want to use a 4,000 pack? Where would the CG for that be? Let's take that out. Let's put in our 4,000. Let's go ahead and put it all the way to the front just for shits and giggles. Look at that, guys. 47. 47. Go ahead and move her just a little bit back. Let's 
Still 47. Okay. I think we can do better than that, guys. Put her even right there with the front of that wood plate. And there you go, guys. So I'll show you where the RC Jetworks battery's at. So we'll go ahead and take this off. And I have the RC Jetworks about a pinky from the front of here. But if you look, it's lined up with the bottom edge. So bottom edge of the tray, guys, 4,000, you're at the CG. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial on my Zykoi CG balancer from Gaspar. As you guys can see, it comes in real handy, especially when you've got honking huge jets. And as you guys can see, I CG'd my plane with three different batteries, three different sizes and C types discharge rates in less than a minute, where how long would it take you? So when people tell me I spent a lot of money on that toy, Believe me, with the amount of planes I go through, the big planes I do and my friends do, it's well worth the money. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Noon's out. Get some!